there is a part of God in you. There's a seed of God on your inside. That is why no matter how far you run from God, something still keeps bringing you back to God. This is Kuzi. The word is our watchword. Worship is our attitude. Thanksgiving always on our lips. With hands lifted in surrender to his will. This is closer. An atmosphere always saturated with his presence. Healings, miracles, testimonies, and an unusual grace for exploits is our reality. This is closer. Welcome to this glorious assembly of heaven and earth. Welcome to Kosa. We celebrate you. The word of the Lord is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. And as I speak, I create. Let us therefore declare words to light our way in September. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your word that has come to us in this season. I decree and declare that I did not merely listen to the word, but obey and advance by the word in the name of Jesus. As I hear the word, it profits me because I mix it with faith. Therefore, I declare that every prophetic declaration altered by my senior pastors come to pass in my life quickly speedily and without warning in the name of jesus i cannot be sick i cannot be down i cannot die by reason of the word in the name of jesus i decree and declare that everything i set my hands to do prospers i can never be out of purpose because Jesus is at work in me. I prophesy that the nevertheless of God's word speaks for me. Therefore, my past does not count. What people believe does not count. My experiences does not matter. Only the word counts in my life in the name of Jesus because I move by the word and do not waver. I enter into unprecedented testimonies. I decree and declare that I am strengthened in faith, giving glory to God in the name of Jesus. I prophesy that the rest of this year is the best of this year for me as I advance by the word in the name of Jesus. Amen. We're praying from Isaiah 29, verse 18. It says, In that day the deaf shall hear the words of a book, and out of their gloom and darkness the eyes of the blind shall see. Can we boldly declare and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, open the eyes of understanding of every partaker in the service tonight, that they may behold wondrous things in your word. Let us hear with the hearing of faith. Let us see with the eyes of the Spirit. Can you press into that word and turn it into power? Father, in the name of Jesus, open the eyes of understanding of every partaker in the service tonight. In the name of Jesus, we decree that they may be old, wondrous things in your word. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us hear with the hearing of faith. Let us see with the eyes of the Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree and we declare that our eyes are open and we understand, we understand the, the wondrous things in your word. We decree that we hear with the hearing of faith and we decree that we see with the eyes of the spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we decree and declare, we decree and declare that the eyes of understanding of every partaker in the service tonight, online and real time, we decree that they may behold wondrous things in your word. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us hear with the hearing of faith and let us see with the eyes of the Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
in the mighty name of Jesus, we decree that the eyes of understanding of every partaker in the service tonight, that they may behold wondrous things in your world. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us hear with the hearing of faith and let us see with the eyes of the Spirit. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Second Chronicles chapter 1 verse 12. Wisdom and knowledge are granted to you. And I will give you riches and wealth and honor. Such as none of the kings have had who were before you. Nor shall any after you have the like. Let us boldly decree and declare. Father in the name of Jesus. Lord we look to you. Lift Cosa Global and everyone genuinely connected from one level of honor to another and renew our strength daily for great exploits. In Jesus' name, let's boldly declare regulation. Lord, we look to you. Lift Cosa Global and everyone genuinely connected from one level of honor to another and renew our strength daily for great exploits in the name of Jesus. Lord, we look to you. Lift Cosa Global and everyone genuinely connected from one level of honor to another and renew our strength daily for great exploits in the name of Jesus. Lord, we look to you. Lift Cosa Global and everyone genuinely connected from one level of honor to another Renew our strength daily for great exploits in the name of Jesus. Renew our strength daily for great exploits in the name of Jesus. Lord, we look to you. Lift Cosa Global up and everyone genuinely connected from one level of honor to another and renew our strength daily for great exploits in the name of Jesus. We we'll decree and declare you lift us up from one level of honor to another mother and you renew our strength daily for great exploits in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen. Isaiah 11 verse 2 says the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Church, can you raise your hand and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, grant us the wisdom the Holy Spirit teaches tonight. Make us wiser than our contemporaries. Anoint us with the spirit of wisdom in the name of Jesus. Turn down the power this evening in the name of Jesus. Lord, grant us the wisdom that the Holy Spirit teaches tonight by your word in the name of Jesus. Make us wiser than our contemporaries in the name of Jesus. Anoint us, O oh God, with the spirit of wisdom in the name of Jesus. Lord, anoint us with the spirit of wisdom in the name of Jesus. Grant unto us, O oh God, the wisdom that the Holy Spirit teaches tonight as we hear the word. Grant unto us the wisdom that the Holy Spirit teaches tonight in the name of Jesus. By your word, O oh God, make us wiser than our contemporaries in the name of Jesus. Anoint us, O oh God, with the spirit of wisdom. Anoint us, O oh God, with the spirit of wisdom. Everyone gathered in service today, let us be anointed with the spirit of wisdom in the name of Jesus. Those watching online, let them be anointed with the spirit of wisdom. Grant unto us the wisdom that the Holy Ghost teaches tonight. Make us wiser than our contemporaries and anoint us with the spirit of wisdom in the name of Jesus. It is wisdom to give thanks. Raise up your hands, lift up your voices, give God thanks for answered prayers in Jesus. Matchless name we pray. name of Jesus. Every decision you make in this September will be ordered by the word. Somebody in September 
your touch will be different. I'm praying September of the word of God. That's the way. Contract will stop. Money will stop. If you believe it, shout amen and believe it. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. You will stand out. Somebody here. God will surprise you. If you believe it, shout amen if you believe it. I pray for somebody here. For you, September will be different. I pray for you, you will know what to do in September. I pray for somebody here. In the name of Jesus, you will stand out. You will do well. Every word I speak throughout September will be apparent in your life. It doesn't matter if someone invited you to church. Who's, who, who the word is not true in their life? But for you, in the name of Jesus, the word will locate you where you are. The word will locate you where you are. If you believe it, shout him in like fire. The word will work for you. If you believe it, shout him in like fire. I pray for everybody listening to me. In the name of Jesus, September is that month. You will stand out. If you believe it, let me hear it threefold in it. The Job Seekers Summit was truly an answer to the prayers of many, and the testimonies have continued to flow in. To God be the glory, she made it through all of the sessions, and one of the big companies that came just gave her a job after interviewing her on the last day as a financial advisor. Here's one of the infallible proofs that it was God-ordained. I celebrate you home. My name is Deborah Adiola. So this year, January, I lost my job. So I was, you know, dejected, depressed. I did not even believe in myself because I like, I thought I had all I need, you know, to sustain this job. And um, I was so depressed. And you know, like in Koza, you can be a Koza member and be depressed because our senior pastors has put so much of God inside of us. So I work with that. And um, Job Seeker Summit came and I attended with faith in my mind. You know, me that I was coming rejected. You know, when I got to Job Seeker Summit, I was empowered, you know, all over again. I believed in myself all over again. The Job Seeker Summit, the, the first one I attended was mind blowing. I was excited, you know, and uh, what I couldn't do before, I couldn't work on my CV before. I had to pay a charge to, you know, write my CV. But right now, I can write my CV all by myself. And Job Seeker Summit actually helped my creative mind. I was I wasn't innovative before, but right now I'm creative, I'm innovative. And um, after the old Job Seeker Summit, we attended some interviews and um, I wasn't called upon, but I wasn't sad about it because I believe that I have so much inside of me that I can, you know, I can impart my word. So I offered to work in a non-government organization to uh, add more experience and to add value to myself. So I started working and without pay because we have been told to add value. As you know, always say that we should go work somewhere even without a pay and I work with that. So and um, after, uh, as I was working there, I applied, I was applying for jobs and got so good on the Job Seekers Summit Telegram group that was created. I was a job advisor, so I had to apply for that. And uh, I was uh, called upon for an interview. The first interview, interview, I was actually kind of not happy because I didn't perform so well. So, and um, that was the time that Mumdi was like, we should always give thanks 30 minutes before we sleep. And I run with that. I would give thanks at every time before I sleep in the afternoon and every time I was giving that God I know you're going to sort me out and do this for me so um you know 
I was called upon for the second interview. I was like, wow, God, you're so good. And I did all my best. Before I went for the interview, I had to go through my my notes, all the one that, all the things that I jot down, all the things I was taught by Sister Kemi, Sister Toy, Sister Ayo, Joe, you know. It was incredible. So I went through everything I jotted out. Okay, for this, I'm going to, you know, put in all my best. And I prayed and I went for the second interview. And God, so good. I knew they were actually pleased with me. They were happy with me. So I attended the second interview interview and after like uh, some we I think, I think like about a week I was giving an offer letter I was so happy I was like God you're so great you're so good and I had to tell them that um, they need to give me some time for me to you know to resign from my former place of work I said I could Jared I'm like fine you can you can go ahead to go and resign from my former place of work and resume and got so good I resumed on uh, August 8th of this year and um, I want to just appreciate our senior pastors. It's my day and Pastor Gordon Factor in both for being a great blessing to my life. If not for you, I don't know where I would have been today. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Mommy. I celebrate you all. Sakara baba baba ba kase tiri bobo kosi tari baba. Yes, I know that Jesus is here. Oh, I know that I know that I know Jesus is here. Oh. I can see, I can I see you I can feel his power walking in our midst. I can feel his power. I'm walking in our midst. I know Jesus is. I can feel his power. I can feel his power.
give him a big clap. Welcome him to his own house. you been? I need to clarify. Awesome, awesome. Well, it's been so good to me. I don't know about you. And I know that the Holy Ghost is fanning to flame His presence. You are going to ignite your role today. And your life will not remain the same. Lift up your hands and give Him glory. Come on, give Him glory. He will do more if you give Him glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for those testimonies. Thank you for your impact in our lives. Thank you for the word on Sunday. Thank you for the impact at the DPE on Monday and on Tuesday morning. We give you the praise. We bless your holy name. We worship you. We worship you, Lord. Bless the Lord. Everything within me. And all that is within me. Bless his holy name. He has done great things in my life. He has done great things. Karibo he is done with me. Hallelujah. He He's done it, done it, done it. He's done great things. Bless me. Oh, oh, oh. One more time. He has done great things in my life. He has done great short time that we have lift up someone people have been hearing someone since church started let this one be different let lives not remain the same let the devil be terrified let Jesus alone be glorified and let every believer be edified in Jesus precious name we pray Amen. come on give the Lord a big hand come on come on Amen. Oh, thank you. Amen please be seated God bless you love you right there God bless you God bless you God bless you Amen I want to start from a safe distance I've got a lot to say this month so I'm going to take it easy. Praise God. Obadiah chapter 1 verse 17. Obadiah 1 17. But on Mount Zion, 
there shall be deliverance. Amen. 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 Please, if you're too cold or anything, tell the protocol. They will know what to do. Amen. Amen. But on Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. And there shall be holiness. Two things. Deliverance means delivery, like a DHL man. And you're salvaged from some things. When you come to Mount Zion. That's why it's important to come to church. I do not say this because I'm a pastor. I'm telling you. Even when you're down, come to church. It is the, the car that doesn't have fuel that goes to the filling station. It is the sick that goes to the hospital. It will be very, very bad for a CMD to stand at the gate. You are too sick. Go back. <laughs> Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. And there shall be holiness. How do you combine the two? If they are holy, they will need to be delivered from something. Come on, talk to me. <laughs> but after a while, after being in church for a while, if you stay in the hospital for a while and you're not well, they discharge you. They say, go home. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. And what we ought to see in you is holiness. And the house of Jacob, after we see these two things in them, they shall possess their possession. So, as you are coming to church, as you are listening to the word, you must have two things at work in your life. Number one, you must be delivered from what everybody struggles with in your family. You must, your siblings should see you and be shocked. You must be delivered. In your office, they should know that you now attend school. And what we're going to see in you is holiness. Agiasmos. It means you're separated not to God. That doesn't mean you don't have feelings anymore. That doesn't mean you don't want to do or you don't know what to do anymore. But you are separated. Ah, you tell the devil, I, I, ah, I wish you came last week. <laughs> I've been separated. Last week, just last week, I told God I'm separated unto him. Then, what we see is that the sons of Jacob or the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Everything that concerns you, that has your name on it, receive it right now. Yeah. My amen is not correct. I want to receive a receiving amen. I am looking for somebody that will behave like Mary in this place. Let it be unto you according to that word. Receive your possessions. In Isaiah chapter number 2, I want to read from verse 2. This is one of the scriptures with which we have built Koza. Now it shall come to pass. In the latter days, tap your neighbor, tell them these are the days. Yes. That the mountain of the Lord shall first of all be established upon the top of the, of the mountains. If you look at our logo, you see it there. Number two, it shall be exalted above the hills. Hill is capital. Because there is financial hill, there is educational hill, there is everything the world is offering is the hill. When David said, I will look up to the hill, he wasn't talking about God. Where will come my help? Then he concluded that his help comes from the Lord. God is not a hill, God is a mountain. When you get home, you study it. Amen. Amen. His help will come from, from heaven. The God that created the heavens and the earth is the mountain. As the mountain surrounds Jerusalem, God is around his people. Those who put their trust in God, they're like mounds, not hill. Mounds are that cannot be moved. Go and study when you get it. Amen. Amen. The mountain of the Lord shall be established. If you like, see anything, do anything. If any church belongs to God, it shall be established. And it will be established above every other hills. For now, maybe social media is new, anything is new, it looks like it's trending. But as time goes on, the mountain, people will grow. It. There are people that are drinking right now. <laughs> I give them 20 years. They will use the amount to confess on that same social media. Ah, but I'm not drinking anymore. I'm now close to God. You'll be, you'll be wondering, but you've led many people to hell. It shall be exalted above the hills. 
And all nations shall flow into it. A church is not church. It's not a church. Evil all nations. That's why you hear testimonies. Oh, I'm Kozai member. I'm from Russia. I'm from all nations shall flow into it. Verse 3. Many people shall come and say, many, not few, they will come and say, let us go up. It's, the, it's an up, upward mobile movement. Let us go up to the mountain, not to the hills, to the mountain of the Lord. For uh, to the house of God of Jacob, he will, the first thing we see in church is not miracles. Thank God we, we have testimonies here. He will teach us his way. And he shall, we shall walk in his path. This is a strange statement. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. They should say, excuse me, sir, what knowledge? He said, because you have rejected knowledge. They have the knowledge, but they rejected it. But this time around, they said we shall walk in his ways. I pray for somebody here. You will not just be coming to Koza, you will walk in his ways. You will not just be hearing about prayer, you will pray. You will not just be hearing about soul winning, you will win souls. And the list goes on and on and on. Everything we teach here that you agree with, you will do. And you will prosper. Amen. Your prophecy shall appear out to all. Amen. Many shall say. They shall come and say. Let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. He will teach us his way. And we shall walk in his path. For out of Zion shall proceed the Lord. And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. You know the Bible says we have not come to the mount that may be touched. So the Jerusalem in the Middle East is not what we're talking about. <laughs> That's a message for another day. Amen. Amen. Out of Zion shall proceed the Lord. That's what I wanted to show you. Out of Zion shall proceed the Lord. The law of life. The law of winning. Out of Zion shall proceed the Lord. We will see miracles, but we will be taught and out of Zion shall proceed the Lord. First of all, I read to you, but I was 17, that upon Mount Zion there should be deliverance and nothingness. And the sons of Jacob, or the house of Jacob, will possess their possessions. Therefore, if you've been born again for a while, you've not possessed your possession, this service possess your possession. Yeah. Number two, when you come to church, you should be taught what to do. Nothing should happen to you and you're oblivious of what to do. I pray that out of Zion shall proceed the law in the name of Jesus. In Ephesians 6 and verse 12. Amen. My message is never long. It's just the foundation that is long. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Against but against principalities and powers, against rulers of darkness of this world or age, eon, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. If you attended Koza or you've attended Koza for a while, you know that's, that's Cosmo Crotoros. These are people we wrestle against. First of all, the Bible doesn't say we are not boxing. The Bible doesn't say we are not fighting to a quando against flesh and blood. He said we're not wrestling. In wrestling, everything goes. Whether it's that boot, or you want to kick somebody, or you want to box in boxing, once you use your leg, they up, boop, separate. They will want you. In taekwondo, the same thing. But in wrestling, you can carry somebody. You ask, you, say, what, you ask the crowd, what should I do? <laughs> Anything you want to do. Somebody can think in wrestling that ah, ah, you are dealing with that person. We come from the crowd. In wrestling, anything goes. Any method that you are taught goes. We wrestle also means it's a daily thing. Don't think because you prayed on Sunday 
that the devil has left you alone. Even Jesus, the ultimate man, he left him for a more opportune time. Oh, I overcame. Ah, that Sunday evening. It was God that helped me. He's coming back again on Wednesday. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. As you wrestle, you will win. In Genesis 14, 14, don't worry, I'll put everything together. Genesis 14, 14, now Abraham heard that his brother was taken captive. He armed. They were not armed before. He armed his 318 trained servants who were born in his own house and went and pursued as far as that. Training is important. A lot of people want to possess their possession. A lot of people want to fight battles that they are not trained for. A lot of people want the law to proceed out of Zion, but they don't want to apply the law in their lives. So they are praying. Ah, they are praying in that fellowship. I'll go there. They are praying on that mountain. I'll go there. Oh, is that place? It's not the amount of places you pray. Are you trained? Whoever is in honor and does not know is worse than the beast of the field. If you've been taught a secret, that's the secret of God. The Bible says we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. They are not physical people. So you don't need a physical, if a trouble decides to be mysterious, the solution also will be mysterious. What you are dealing with is not a physical thing. Amen, somebody. If you are not dealing with anything, is it that you understand this? Or oh, what you are doing does not disturb the enemy. The enemy likes you. He wants you to keep you that way until you are fat. That he can eat you for Christmas. But if you are doing something that is disturbing the enemy, he will attack you. He will want to spoil your testimony. He will do everything to make you disbelieve what you believed before. I pray for somebody here. In the name of Jesus, God will show you how to fight. No wonder Paul says, I fought the fight, a good fight of faith. I finished my course. That will be your statement when you're existing here. If you believe, shout hallelujah. While I know that we wrestle daily, victory also is ours daily. <laughs> we were born for victory. In 2 Timothy, Chapter 2. Very popular scripture except, except you're not a worker. You therefore, I want to read from verse 4 because of time. No one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who has enlisted him as a soldier. Verse, four is what I'm, where, verse 5 is where I'm going. Verse 5. And also if anyone competes in athletics, he's not crowned Unless it completes according to the rules. On your marks, red, you move. Before poor, uh -uh. they warn you first time. Uh, wait for the gun to go off. It doesn't matter the lane. It doesn't matter how fast you can run. If you don't compete according to rules, you will not receive the medal. A lot of people are praying, not knowing what to pray about. A lot of people are, they want to possess their possessions, but they don't understand what to do in the body of Christ. Did you understand that? I can show you several scriptures on this. To let you know that you are not alone, you are in good company. Shedding tears is not enough. Lord, I'm suffering. It's not enough. I'm telling you, God will make you listen to a message like this. Because he himself is bound by his word. He can't do anything. Many Christians are living at, this, at the mercy of circumstances of life. I pray in the name of Jesus. Thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph. You will triumph. Ah, you will triumph. People will gather and rejoice with you. Long lasting circumstance has come to an end in this service. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. That's the reason why a lot of people die. Ah, that, that sister, that brother, he was coming to the church. 
boom, he died. Because they are not trained. They just pray. There are some prayers you don't pray gently. You don't go. Have you poured small water inside something you're frying before? The thing will react. You pour more water. You pour more water. Then it calms down. You don't, you don't pray small prayer. Some prayer point. Satan, I come against you. Eh? You must stand well. You don't kneel down praying uh, authority to prayer. For, leaning down for who? You must be trained. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen many times I'll tell people to get up. Because you don't kneel down. It should decrease. You sit down or you stand up. The food, the last one they ate in Egypt, they ate is standing up. If you know you are living where you were, there's a, there is a disposition you have. I pray in the name of Jesus. Somebody here, you're coming out. If you believe it, shout amen like fire. In Psalm 18, verse 34. Sit down. Psalm 18, verse 34. It teaches my hand to walk, to make war. Eh? It teaches. Uh, what is war now? Uh -uh. It teaches my hand to make war. So that my arms can bend. Watch this. A bow of bronze. What? Something that is no normal. You tell the enemy, bring that bow. You break it into. What is it going to use to fire the arrow at you? But it teaches my fingers to make one. In the name of Jesus. You will not go asking ignorant people, should I, should I do it? Should I? <laughs> they are the ones that will ask you, pray for me. That will be your portion in the name of Jesus. Every long-standing issue, I command it to bow before you. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. In Isaiah 45 verse 1, Isaiah 45, watch this. Thus he is the Lord to his anointed. To Cyrus, what have I done? I have held his right hand. <laughs> if God holds someone's right hand, you are wasting your time. What have I done? I've held his right hand to subdue the nations before him. Anything he does, I'm the one teaching. That's why you hear me pray the prayer. Lord, the songs you want to hear is the one we sing. <laughs> the words you want to hear is the one we speak. Because it's not about you shaking your head or doing this. No, 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 no. Some people think when they pray a lot, everybody should bow. No. There's someone that will hear that your prayer. And if you are dealing with pride, God will not hear you. You know, you know the man that prayed and said, you know that publican right there, that guy is a sinner. But I, I'm, 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 I'm whole. And God, the, the person left that place unjustified. There's someone that will hear your prayers. I've seen too many prayer warriors that are proud. And I, I shake my head. The more you know God, the more you say to yourself, who is me? the more you know God. To subdue the nations before him. To lose the armor of kings and to open before him. He didn't plan. He does not. He has never seen double doors before. God opened before him the double doors so that the gates will not be shut. Ah, this scripture I just read is your exact portion. In the name of Jesus. If you believe it, shout Hallelujah. So Paul was advising Timothy in uh, 1 Timothy 1.18. And he gets to a point. He brings this to the New Testament. This charge, that's a military term, charge, instruction, mandate, I commit to you. I left you in Ephesus. You were crying when I left. This only you should do. According to the previous prophecies or prophecies, Previously made concerning you. That by them. <laughs> His church is going down. He's not filled. You can see him to sit there. By them. By them. 
His children are even wayward. He doesn't even buy them. <laughs> when we win for burial in their family, it's from a cursed family by them. You can stand out. Everything given to somebody here goes down by them. I'm, I'm not summonized. I'm telling you the truth in God. By them. 